Hi everyone, happy Friday and it's time for another Millie in the Motorhome adventure. Really excited, bank holiday weekend. It's really quite warm at the moment. So we're hoping it lasts for the weekend and the sun comes out and we are heading to Kendall Camping and Caravan Club site. Um, so we're new, so we're new to explore. We've got the bikes on board, just me and James this time. Motorway is looking a bit nasty. Um, so uh, I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there but uh, hopefully we'll get there before eight and the campsite shuts <laughs> but uh, yes we shall see you when we get there well we have arrived it was a long journey it took us three hours m6 was chocker but we are filling with water so and ready to go Now this is the type of weather that you want in the Lake District. Perfect. Hey, bank holiday weekend. Lovely jubbly. It's very peaceful, isn't it? Can you show us what you've got on the barbecue, James? No. No? Can't lift the lid off? Okay, fair enough. Sheeps! Lakeland sheep. A little bit of steak for tea. Wedges, coleslaw, wine, view. Mm. Fortunately, the bikes are spoiling our sheep view this evening. We shall take them off tomorrow and then we'll have a much better sheep view. <laughs> I am in the ladies just giving you a, a quick look so the showers look really nice they are push button but they look really clean and um, lots of space in there as well which is good then you look like you've got some toilets and also there's one utility and then some general sinks, soap, hand dryers, and also a hairdryer. Excellent. Bacon and egg with a little bit of brew and a brew and a view. Good morning from Lightland. Still a lovely day here in Kendall. Um, we are about to try the short walk into town. So this goes around the back of the campsite. Very pleasant day today. This is the river that runs alongside the campsite. Oh, that's lovely there. Wow, these pictures would be nice here, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah look at there. There's Millie with the bikes on. Not taking them off yet, have we? It does actually look like there's some sort of um, style there to get over. However, if someone's on that pitch there, you wouldn't want to be going that way. Yes, I'm going to have to be watching from filming here, otherwise I'll end up covered in sheep poo. 
carried on down the trail and we come across past the rugby club. But this is a lovely little footpath. Follows the uh, the river through there. Very nice. It's quite nice up walking on the road. Ah, look, there's the river. Quite a nice bit of the walk here. Just come out where two rivers meet. The bit of a, a larger bit. We were just saying we might be able to paddle on that bit. Um, and there's definitely like a little beach area as well. It's lovely. It's not quite a scene what we thought this walk would be because on on this side as you're walking through you've got lots of uh, industrial units. But it's, not, it's very nice. Dock Ray Footbridge. Doesn't look like it's open at the moment, but nice old bridge there. Centre of Kendall. Look at that. 4,662 miles to Mount Everest and 3,305 to New York. What's on the other side? Ah, Scarfell Pike, only 21. We're trying to find a pub now for lunch. Earned it. We have made it to Yoldley Sin. So it's like a traditional pub, but it's been built quite well. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. We are in the pub. I can't remember what it's called. The old fleece in. The old fleece in. So we've had a good walk. So we've treated ourselves to a nice lunch. I'm having a starter. Um, Nice, nice and cold, nice glass, so far so good. And James wants to try and beer. I don't like beer. What is it? Kendall Gill, so it's a locally brewed. Still don't like beer. It's a bit like that prime store. Mmm, good. Gammon and cheese forget. Mushrooms. We have got any other Happy James. In a brewery. Sheets. <laughs> nah. We looked at me. Having a well-earned Cornetto after a rather long stomp back from Morrison's. I say long, it was only just about 10 minutes, but we did walk really fast so that the ice creams didn't melt. <laughs> Chicken from Aldi and a kebab wrap. Mm. <laughs> and what? Good morning on Sunday. We have woken up to another lovely day here in the Lake District. It's quite warm again. There's a little bit of a breeze, which is really quite nice. James is still in bed. <laughs> 
lots of campers out. Like that view up there looking at that hill. That's lovely. Really says Lake District, doesn't it? The ups and downs of the hills. There's Millie. So we're going to get out and have a, uh, I think we're going to have a proper brekkie this morning um, rather than have lunch later. Uh, and then the plan is to, to go out on the bikes and then go into Kendall and try out um, the tie this evening. So last night my camera ran out of battery as I was on the little, little walk. I was explaining about how we have YouTube royalty here at the campsite. We actually had Bob Earnshaw. Um, now I've woke up this morning, I was going to film his van, but it's gone. It's where that space was there. He's gone. So he was in his, his Sahara van. Hopefully I've got some puff footage of the van on when I didn't realise it was him from the night before. So I'll have to have a look at that. But um, yeah, I also got to speak to him. Um, he was walking along here when we were having our barbecue last night um, with his dog and um, said hello as, as you do when people walk past. And I was... Um, thinking I know him I know him from somewhere and then it was only after he walked off just down the road I suddenly clicked and thought I know who that is that's Bob Earnshaw we've watched loads of his videos yeah so shame he's gone because I would have liked to have said hello properly now I know who he was but uh, never mind maybe next time we'll bump into the slaws first time we're going for a full English for brunch it because it is five to twelve <laughs> Good. James has got his beans. And I've got some tomatoes. Yummy. Finished article, not bad for a first go. And even got a brew. Oh, beans going on. actually quite a good little ride down in the fact that um, a lot of it is um, foot, footpath cycleway so um, like you're off the road which is good although you're alongside the road you're still off the road so, and just to prove we don't always have wine we've got coke and water might have a little nibble um, but obviously don't want to spoil our tea because I've got going to the Thai restaurant this evening so we're in the middle of Kendall and we wanted to watch the football, hear the football, but we couldn't get it. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi anywhere apart from where we went yesterday. There's the yield fleece in. So, we've got a perfect table just by the wall where we can pick up the Wi-Fi 
and we're watching Sky Sports News. But actually, it's been really entertaining because we spent a day, not a day, we spent an hour sat here, people watching as well. And it's really quite interesting. <laughs> we have seen some characters. I can also say that sitting here, the smell of roast dinner that keeps coming out of the door and wafting round is so good. I want to eat it, but we can't because we're booked in a Thai. Now, I think I'd rather stay here, but I know James definitely wants to go to the Thai. He's run off at the moment. But, oh, the smell. I'd love to come back another time and try it because it smells really, really good. There's also a really interesting place over there that seems to be very, very popular. It's called the um, Eat, oh, there we go, Eat Indian. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do, I don't know where you pick, pick the things and then they heat them up, but that also looks really interesting. So tonight we are going to Bangkok 7 Thai. Which looks like it's on Finkel Street, was it? It's just here. I don't think I'll be asking to sit outside. It's gone a little cool out of the sunshine. But uh, yeah, looking good. We shall let you know what it's like. Mm. Well, so far, all I can say is, wow. I have never seen such a neat restaurant, Thai restaurant. This looks fantastic. So looking forward to trying the food. Well, what can I say? I think we've stumbled onto a winner. This is the starter platter. And James is drooling. <laughs> It looks amazing. This place looks superb. Well, I think we have one word and it's wow, isn't it, James? We've not tasted yet, but if it goes off the starters, then wow. This looks superb. So, Bangkok 7 is where we've just been. Now, James loves Thai and that was an exceptional Thai. We would absolutely 100% recommend it. So this is Bangkok Thai in Kendall. Amazing. Very good. So we are back to the old place. It's nice why here. We've woke up to another fabulous day in here in the Lake District. It is absolutely lovely. Can't believe it. I didn't think when Monday was going to be nice, but yeah, it is. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. It's really warm in the sunshine too. Hive of activity here, Monday morning. Of course, everyone packing up. Who's been here for the weekend, although it does look like some people are here for a longer stay. Not making any moves yet. Good thing about being in a motor, we don't have to do it very easily. early. Yes, just contemplating whether or not we want some breakfast before we go have a shower. And I've got a cup of tea now. Overall, um, I think we would really recommend this site. Um, it's, it's absolutely lovely. Nice walks around it, really good access to Kendall. Um, the site itself, the facilities are very clean, very neat, it's very well kept. Um, it is really handy to nip to Kendall, and like with those taxis we used last night and that were great, easy to ride to, the short walk to, to either Morrison's LV or Sainsbury's. However, I think for us, we come back to the Lake District, we want to go near a lake, but we left it too late to book this time and, and this was really it, the only place we could get. But uh, yeah, what a find, it's lovely. And I think we probably will come back, but I would think rather than a summer site, um, maybe one for sort of spring or, or autumn when, when you want the facilities of a town nearby but overall really good another great trip